I remember Mother as being a very benevolent, somewhat distant presence in my very early life. Even in those early days, I got a sense of Mother's treatment of everybody as equals. She never distinguished between African Americans and white people. She was always sincerely committed to uh, trying to help anybody that was very poor or in need or sick or suffering in, in a way from loneliness. She would tell all of us children, you know, do your own thing. Uh, don't be deterred by criticism. And don't be afraid to take a chance on doing something that seems impossible if you think it's important. She was non-traditional in the way that she felt about things. And back then, women just had babies. They took care of the house. And she did lots of things that traditional women were not doing back then. I don't think everybody has mother-in-law like I had. She really relished life. So she was almost immune to criticism. She was as famous as I was, I guess. Even, even at her funeral, people were telling Miss Lillian stories. People who knew her there in Georgia came from miles around, uh, not because her son was president either. It was for her. I, I miss her. She was part of my life for such a very long time. I think she would say, I lived my life to the fullest. I took advantage of all the talent and ability that God gave me, and I did the best I could. Would you welcome, please, Miss Lillian Carter. <laughs> 